All right, so we have the questions here for the examples for the SSS similarity theorem. Recall that the SSS similarity theorem tells us that if we can identify all three sides of two triangles are in proportion with each other, then we know that the two triangles are similar and that they are the same shape, just different sizes. So what we need to do here for example A is determine if the following triangles are similar and if so, explain why they are and write the similarity statement. So in order to find out whether or not they're similar, we need to find out whether or not the corresponding sides of the triangles are in the same ratio. So what we'll do is take, for instance, side AC here. Let me get my target cursor so it's easier for you guys to see. Side AC and see if it corresponds to ED in the same way that BC corresponds to FD. So in other words, we're going to compare the two short sides and then compare the two longest sides and see if they're in the same ratio. And then finally, we'll compare the two medium sides after that. Now, in the interest of saving time, I went ahead and just copied the calculations from your page on the website. Um, we see here that uh, side BC, which is the long side of the smaller triangle, I'm sorry, the larger triangle over here, that's 28 units. And FD, which is the long side of the smaller triangle right here, that's 20 units. If we reduce that comparison, 28 over 20, that reduces to 7 over 5. So our first comparison here is 7 to 5. Now if we take a look at the next pair, we have BA, which is the medium length side here on the bigger triangle, and it's 21 units. And then the corresponding side, of course, is the medium length of the smaller triangle. That's 15 units. And if we reduce 21 over 15, we get 7 fifths again. That's a good sign because it means that we have two sets of sides now that are in the same ratio. Things are looking good. And then finally, if we take a look at the final side, we have AC, which is our shortest side of our bigger triangle. And it's 14 units. And then we have ED, which is the shorter side of the smaller triangle. It's 10 units, which again reduces to 7 fifths. So the two triangles are indeed similar based on side, 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 side. And we can say that triangle, and we'll do A, C, F, starting with a 90 degree angle, and then going across the short side and then on around, is similar to triangle, E, D, F. Again, starting with the 90 degree angle and going across the short side and then going on around. So the two angles are in the same order. Cool. Let's take a look at example B. Example B says, find X and Y such that triangle ABC is similar to triangle D, E, F. So that tells us that A needs to be in the same ratio with D as B is to E and as C is to F. Otherwise, they wouldn't be similar, right? So if we say side AB, which is the shortest side of, we'll call this triangle one. Actually, let's call this triangle two because it's bigger. And we'll call this one triangle one because it's smaller. So we say that tri side AB, which is the shortest side, nine, should be in the same ratio to the shortest side of the other triangle, six, as the medium side, so, BC, which is 4x minus 1, is to the medium side over here, which is 10. If that's the case, then these two things would be similar, correct? So we can do 9, 6, which actually reduces to 3 over 2. Let's go ahead and do that, just to make our subsequent math a little easier. 3 over 2 is equal to 4x minus 1 over 10. And now we'll cross multiply, and we'll get 30 equals 2 times 4x and 2 times negative 1. So you get 8x minus 2. Add the 2 to both sides. And we'll get 32 equals 8x, which tells us by dividing both sides by 8 that x equals 4. So if x equals 4, then we have 4 times 4 minus 1. So 16 minus 1 is 15. So side BC must be 15. And then to find y, we need that same ratio again, only now the smaller side is y, and the bigger side is 18. So now we'll write up our ratio again, and we're going to use the 3 halves, because we already reduced to that. So we know that 3 halves is equal to 18 
over y, the bigger value on top and the smaller value on the bottom. So that tells us that 3y equals 18, oops, 3y, there we go, equals 18 times 2, which is 36. Divide both sides by 3, and y equals 12. So y here is 12. Because that means x must be 4, and y must be 12. There we go. All right, example C. This one's very similar to example A. Determine if the following triangles are similar. If so, explain why and write the similarity statement. And again, I went and copied the comparisons. You'll see here that if we compare the corresponding sides of the two triangles and then reduce the fractions, we come up with 3 fifths and 3 fifths, which was looking good. But then by the time we compare the what would be the middle side, really, of the triangles, we come up with 1 half, which is not the same. So these two triangles here are not similar.